I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to be doing the set that I just showed you and we are going to be revamping and infilling and doing a redesign on this set. So it is five weeks old, there's not a rhinestone out of place and if you guys are excited to see this look then please give this video a thumbs up. So I'm starting off with the Outer Space Cuticle Pusher from Glitter Planet and I'm just going to go ahead and push back the cuticles on all 10 nails. I absolutely love this cuticle pusher because of the shape of it. The hoof like head on it just makes it super easy and simple to push back cuticles and I just feel like I'm not going to slip and cut my client which I have done before. Previously when using sort of like the flatter end um, cuticle pushers I just prefer these so much more. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come in with my cuticle bit and I'll have the links for everything down below if you guys want to uh, go ahead and check them out. But with the cuticle bit, I'm basically just running it along the cuticle area and where that natural nail growth occurs. Just running it nice and smoothly over there to get rid of any dead skin, grown out cuticle and any debris or anything that's just going to get in, a, in the way of our cuticle application. And it is extremely important to prep the nails thoroughly. So once I've done that, it's time to go ahead and remove the rhinestones so that we can then remove the old acrylic. So I like to come in with my pointy drill bit and I just go between the stones, loosening the gel and the glue that I use to adhere them. This just gives me a little bit of a head start so that when I come in with my outer space cuticle nippers, I can just easily nip them off and it just gives them somewhere to sort of like grab a hold of and pull off the stones without creating too much force where it's gonna sort of like ping and fly off and you don't know if you're going to be blinded by the end of it so that's just the step that I like to take I do have a full video explaining exactly how I remove large crystals and diamantes and things like that so if you want to check it out I will have it linked for you guys on the information bar so once I've finished um, removing all of the stones, I'm coming in with my flame drill bit or a cone drill bit and this is the medium grit and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the entire acrylic design, filing back down to that clear base that I always start off with and that is why I do start off with that clear base so that when the, the client comes in for a redesign, it is super easy for me to just file back down to that infill again with clear so we've got a complete clear base and then do the redesign in acrylic Next I'm going to come in with 100 and 180 grit nail file, you can buy these in a packet of 5 from Glitter Planet and they are honestly absolutely incredible, I use them for myself and my clients and they are super affordable as well, um, plus you can use my discount code NINJA10 for 10% off so obviously that is a winner and I'm just going ahead removing that extra acry acrylic that I couldn't get with my drill bit and my e-file and I'm also shaping and defining the nails but I will also do that at the end when I've finished as well but I'd like to sort of like do it beforehand because I'm weird like that then I remove all of the dust that is on the hands and the nails and I come in and I sanitize again and here I'm just applying my primer. I apply the primer, allow it to dehydrate and like sort of like evaporate from the nail. Um, this is a new primer that I'm using today. Everything will be revealed shortly, okay? So I'm coming in with clear and as I said I'm just applying that infill as sort of like the base and then I'll go in with my design. So now it's time to do my design and on the little finger I'm just coming in with a super deep extended nail bed and I'm just creating a nice even gorgeous smile line. Honestly guys these types of like smile lines they just look absolutely stunning and I love doing them. I don't often get to do them much but I had free reign on this set so I was just like yes I'm gonna do one right now. So I basically just go ahead and use my brush to sculpt that bead into place, patting it with the belly of my brush and using the tip to define the shape. And it's very important to try and get it as close to as possible as you want it because it's very difficult to sort of like reshape a smile line if it's really not kind of anywhere near the shape that you are wanting. 
So moving on to the next nail and I'm just going to go in with a white at the tip and then a green glitter fade at the top. And I'm going to apply a darker green underneath. I usually like to do that with glitters so that any little gaps or bits where you can sort of see through the glitter, they are still filled in with a corresponding colour. And that way it just looks like the glitter's completely covered the nail. Um, that's just the way I like to work with glitters. So, yes. So this green glitter that I'm using is Lucky Charm. And it is available from Glitter Planet. And I will have it linked for you guys down below. So next moving on to the middle nail and this is going to be where I sculpt the 3D Christmas tree. So it's just going to be a plain-ish kind of nail and I'm just going to add the white as a base and then I'm going to be adding fairy dust glitter which is from glitterplanetuk.com. Again, link will be down below for you guys. And I'm just going to apply that over the entire nail just to give it a nice shimmer and sparkle in the background but nothing too much where it's going to take the detail away from the 3D art that I'm going to be doing. So next we're moving on to the pointer finger and this is going to be the candy cane style nail. Now from here on out this video gets a little bit freaky because as you guys know these colour blocking designs take a lot of time and effort and there's a lot of sort of like waiting for it to set, coming back to it, doing other things, coming back to it. But not only that, with this set when my client came our boiler had actually broken, it is fixed now thank the lord. Um, so it was so cold and it was on the coldest day that we'd had yet So I was really struggling to get my acrylic to set even after five minutes ten minutes. It was not setting very well um, So to come in and file sort of like the block designs. It was really really difficult I had to wait a long time So you will see me sort of like go ahead and cap the other nails and file the other nails before I've even come back to finish these ones um, it was so difficult and I'm surprised that I even managed to sort of like pull it off, like seriously. So yes, next I'm just moving on to the thumb and I'm going to go ahead and apply the white and blend that up halfway up the nail, sort of like feathering it out and then I'll be applying a red metallic glitter and this glitter consists of large dots, small hexes, all different multi-cut sizes and it is called Vampress. It's from Glitter Planet, you can find the link for it down below. So chunky glitters can be slightly harder to work with, so if you do find it difficult, I can always just suggest to um, apply a little bit at a time and work in a little bit at a time, making sure your acrylic bead that you pick up your glitter with, with is quite wet so that you can easily move it around and so that you don't build up a lot of thickness and bulk. Also use a corresponding colour underneath as well, but I just wanted to show you guys here that you don't need to do that But if you're not feeling very confident, it's always like a little tip that you can sort of use So moving back to the pinky nail I'm just gonna go ahead and file that nice smile line super sharp and crisp and this is sort of like a little top trick that you can do to make sure that those lines really are on point and you don't really have to worry about when you come to reveal that smile line, whether it's going to be straight or not, because you've ensured that it will be. So here I am just coming in and capping a couple of the nails, and then I will move back onto the candy cane nails. And I'll just let you guys watch these, and then I will be back.
Okay, so I'm just going ahead and finally defining the white on the candy cane nail. It took so freaking long. I mean, oh, this video is just a mess, but anyway. So I'm using this red glitter and it is called Ruby Red and it's holographic and it's super fine and absolutely gorgeous. It's so, so rich. Like I said guys, in this video there is a lot of backwards and forwards in, so as you can see I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate this little pinky which I just applied the super fine holographic red glitter to and then I'm going to go ahead and do some more of the candy cane nails. It's just a whole part of the process and it's just got to be done. Okay, so now it's time to file. I decided not to finish that tiny last little bit of the um, candy cane nail. Didn't really need to film it because you guys have obviously seen the whole entire process throughout this video. Plus, I did a dedicated video on sort of like colour blocking. So if you want to see that, then go and check that out. I will try and remember to link it in the information tab on the screen. But now it's time to come in with my e-file and my smooth top ceramic nail bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and basically file and shape the nails and debulk them. But then after I have used my e-file, I do like to come in with my hand file and just do some finish filing and define the shape and the free edge of the nail.
So now it's time to add some bling and I'm using the huge SS16 crystals from Glitter Planet. They are the AB ones and I'm also using the mixed size ruby red crystals and also the mixed size AB crystals just to create a nice um, crystal arrangement on the ring finger. And then it's time to top coat and add some 3D art. And the top coat, as you guys know, is the most exciting, beautiful part of any nail video or nail set that I do because it just brings everything to life and everything just sparkles a million times more. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to do the 3D Christmas tree and it is super simple. You guys will be literally laughing, like seriously. So you basically want to go ahead and use a couple of small balls of acrylic and just move them into place like little petal flowers but droplets like like this basically like I'm showing you in the video now this is a super sped up video I'm not going to go into too much detail but I will be doing a dedicated video on how to do the 3d Christmas tree just so those people that need it really explaining to them thoroughly can have it explained to them basically and it can make it easier for you guys to understand how to work with the acrylic so please go and check that out I will have it available for you guys I'm not going to wait to upload it I'll be uploading it straight away um, so yeah, I'll probably have it linked on the information bar for you guys. So yeah, so go and check it out and see how this is done in a bit more detail. And guys, the next step is to add some cuticle oil and this is the final result. I really hope that you guys like it. I absolutely love how it turned out, even though it was a pain in the backside. It looks bomb. Like seriously, it is a bomb.com. Let's fuck, okay? So yeah, please guys, always remember that you are bomb.com. Let us fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye! Merry Christmas! I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload, let it swing right back.